today we are going to make uh, mango bavras. Now the recipe what we are making of mango bavras, in this same recipe we can make three more flavors. So basically uh, for the curriculum in our uh, in the college, we for the same recipe we made apricot also and we make butterscotch also. If you want to go outside, if you go outside different flavors like strawberry and custard apple, all these flavors also can be made. But uh, this, uh, this recipe particularly we use for your apricot and butterscotch also. And even the quantity also is the same. So um, there is no change in the recipe as well, other than the uh, flavor. So let's look at the ingredients. Ingredients used are milk, green sugar, agar agar, mango pulp, whipped cream, first we are going to start with the half of, half of the milk so that is around 75 ml and then agar agar inside it and mix this properly once this is mixed properly then you put the other leftover milk inside it so total it will become 150 grams and then you add a grain sugar which is around 30 grams and mix it again This I'm going. This picture I'm going to put on the induction now. Switch on the induction. And mix it properly. You have to keep on mixing this till the time the mixture thickens do not use the whisk over here because whisk creates a lot of froth so that's the reason we are using a wooden spoon okay do not let the, let the temperature also increase too much okay and on a medium flame i am just you know uh, mixing it and letting it cool just checking it every time that whether the mixture has become uh, thick or not when you look at the mixture only then only you will come to know that the mixture has become thick you have to keep on stirring now there are quite some if you see here there are quite some fumes you can see keep mixing it keep stirring it now in this recipe i am going to put uh, mango pulp and as i have told you before also i am this is the same recipe used uh, used for the mango apricot and the butterscotch same quantity you am going to put but for this particular recipe i am just showing you one mango pulp recipe so uh, if you want to make different flavors like custard apple strawberry that also can be done with the same recipe only the uh, flavor will change otherwise everything else will stay the same no differences over there keep checking make sure it is not uh, set uh, sticking to the base now once this is done just let it cool down this is how it looks after it cools down like 5 10 minutes and this will happen to it okay make sure you scrape out everything from the sides and make sure you uh, remove all the lumps which are there inside it mix it properly removing the lumps is very very important over here otherwise your mousse in the end also will have lumps inside it so removing the lumps is important then i'm going to put the flavor as i said before you can put mango apricot or butterscotch here i'm putting mango and mixing it properly okay uh, around 30 ml of pulp had gone and then around 150 ml of whipped cream has gone and just mix it very lightly do not vigorously mix it otherwise your mixture will sit down okay so mix it very lightly once mixed properly i'm going to put it into the molds in which i'm going to set here i'm setting it in the ramekin molds if you want to you can put in those uh, plastic mousse cups also or the paper mousse cups also 
depends on you different types of ramekin different shapes of ramekin molds also you can put so it depends on you what you want to set it into uh this mousse is difficult to demold as a reason we make sure that we put into the molds in which you are going to eat it directly okay divide the mixture properly this is slightly thick but then what i'm going to do is i'm going to take a duster and i'm going to pat it over there okay to level the this thing you know the mousse so that there is no unevenness over there and plus the it's a ceramic mold that's the reason i'm using a duster over here i'm putting a little more mixture because i think a little more can go in this mold so you can do take the judgment over there when while putting into the mold and this goes in the fridge for setting now this is this are after it has set this is how it looks okay i'm going to garnish it with the whipped cream a swirl of whipped cream and i have thinned down the mango pulp over here it's quite liquidy so that you know on the swirl it looks really nice you know coming from those small small portions and i'm going to garnish uh, in the end i'm going to garnish it with the mint sprig and this is the final presentation now